to go through the border. You just got to wait in line. Sometimes they have two lines. Sometimes they only have one. So you just got to uh, get in line and wait your turn. Have your passport. They don't really check anything. They just kind of look at you and see if you're bringing anything back from Mexico. Pretty fast and easy. made it through so now all you have to do is follow this line it's covered right here you just take it all the way back up to the parking lot you'll cross the road that goes into Mexico and just go up and get your car so it's pretty painless it's not that big a deal as long as you're not taking anything illegal over we have never seen them search anybody or stop anybody except Maybe if you're from Mexico or something, or look, Latin American, and your papers don't line up. But for Americans, seniors and stuff, there's no problem. So well, we'll get up here. Time with the cars and stuff. And huh? get, it seemed like they had a harder time with the cars and stuff, because the cars when they were pulling over and looking at some like. Yeah, we'll get up here and we'll give you a shot back at the border where the cars coming from Mexico. They are lined up all the way through Mexico probably about 20 blocks long trying to get back across the border it's an hour and a half wait so whether you're coming from uh mexico and coming back and you've been to mexico for a while or something but uh it's a good way to get back across the border getting in is no problem getting back out is a problem so i'd advise you to park in the parking lot pay your six dollars and make it happen but there's the border right there. This side over here is what goes down. You can see there's no lines. You never have seen a line. But the ones coming back through, you'll see a line. I'll give you another shot of it up here. All right. You can see they're going through this space. He's able to go out. But they're going to pull that one over there. They're going to do a secondary search of him. Or somebody in his car paperwork didn't check out and they may have to go inside so they're in holding but you can see going in no problem looks like well, they do have two lanes coming out but boy they are slow today I don't know if they're looking for something they had the dogs out yesterday but uh, it's really no big deal for tourists and you can see the parking lot over here pretty full but another month or two it'll be full all the way to the back plenty of handicapped parking and then another tip make sure they bring the cash they don't have to pay the 5% I mean we, we bought our cash but yep remember everything in Mexico is in cash unless you want to use your visa card and then they're going to put 5% on there so if you got dental work that you're going to do between a thousand or eight thousand dollars or whatever you're going to do you better bring enough cash to uh, put money down on the first day. We didn't pay it all up front. We only put $500 down just because that's, that's just what I wanted to do. And that helps them pay the lab because they source everything out. So, uh, and then we paid the balance when I was done. But you got to pay them. Now, we could use the credit card. But like I said, it's going to cost you. And we tried to use our credit card and it froze it immediately because we forgot to call the bank. So now we got to call, well, the credit union. And we never use the credit card anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Right. So we just got to call the credit union and let them know. But we only used it just to uh, do the $500 uh, deposit down over here on the, on the dental just because we forgot to bring cash. So, here's the truck. It's all parked good. We're going to get in here. We're going to head back to Maddie, check on Princess. And I think we're going to call today from down here on the border of Mexico and California.
Hey, Daryl and Kim. Hello. We are still boondocking right outside of Yuma, Arizona at the uh, Quishan uh, Casino. As you can see all around us, there's Class A's, there's everybody. Uh, it's a good crowd here uh, parking to uh, go over to Mexico, get some glasses. Kim put down a couple pair of glasses yesterday. I had some dental work done, and we'll go into more of that in another video. But anyway, we're just out here enjoying the day. It's still a little bit warm down here, but we got the fantastic fan on. We're gonna take the garbage out. Thought we'd stop and just chat a little bit. So anyway, we're just out taking the garbage out. They got garbage bins here. Security, I saw them driving around this morning, and I'm sure they drive around throughout the evening. But it's been real quiet here. Wouldn't have any problem um, uh, worrying about anybody stealing anything. A pretty good group of people here when we're here, here in October. People leave their generators out. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. But 18-wheelers uh, park over on the other side of the road, and the RVs are over here. So... The 18-wheelers uh, park over there, and uh, RVs park over here. And that way you don't have to get right next to them because let them leave their trucks running all night. But uh, we're happy we found it. It hasn't cost us a dime to park. We didn't, haven't even gone inside the casino. I know. So... So far, it's been a great place. I wish it wasn't so warm. We wouldn't have to run anything. But, uh, it's, uh, it's free. Yep. So we highly recommend if you want to do, uh, Mexico and you're coming through Arizona right to California. Actually, we are in California right now. The, uh, the river over here is a separation between Arizona and, uh, California. So we are technically in California. But uh, if you're coming this way on Interstate 8, I would uh, highly recommend that y'all pull in here, stay a couple days, go to Mexico. It's no big deal. Doesn't cost you to go there. They got a lot of nice tourist stuff, such as rugs and sunglasses and and every bit of uh, yard work that uh, yard art that they you can possibly find it. so and some really nice stuff pottery oh, yeah so uh and they got the drug stores where you can get to 800 milligram uh ibuprofen for how much babe three ninety nine three dollars and 99 cents for 100 of them for 100 so definitely a good deal to go down and get some stuff down there we see a lot of retirees down there when we were there uh coming in some people came all the way from ketchikan uh, alaska uh, to get his teeth done, so uh, it'd be a good deal. We saved a, a lot of money. And anyway, it's a nice little town. It's tourist friendly. There's no problems. We didn't see one incident of anybody walking, you know, around drunk or trying to start trouble or anything. So, I could walk down there by myself. It yeah, wouldn't bother me. Yeah, wouldn't wouldn't worry with Kim by herself. So uh, that was good. There's police all over, but everybody's just friendly. They want tourists to come there, and they make sure that they're safe. So. Don't even give it a second thought if you're worried about going there. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of places in Mexico I wouldn't go, but uh, this is definitely one of them. Um, so, uh, Good cheap Mexican food. I hope this helps. I hope this uh, uh, little boondocking spot works out for you. Uh, if you've ever been here, put it in the comments down below and uh, tell me what you thought. I know uh, Gone with the Winds uh, have been down this part of the country uh, and uh, RV Lady. So. Uh, you, they might be able to give you more information also if you're seriously about coming down. But anyway, RV Adventure TV. Stop the madness. Start the adventure. Have a see, good day, y'all. See you next time.